Hey TSD, as we get into the busy month of October, I'm sure we have had all kinds of data that we might want to start taking a look at. Um, today for I'm going to use the example of a spreadsheet that I put some fundraiser information in. But you know, sometimes the spreadsheet is great on the end of the person that's really analyzing all the data, but maybe not if we are trying to communicate just a portion of data with someone, or better yet, back to the student or even a parent or a colleague. Um, it's a lot of information all at one time. We're not necessarily trying to compare it. We want to look at one individualized piece. And in the case of me with the fundraiser, the students needed to fill the orders. But looking at the spreadsheet, there were lots of rows and columns that eyes might travel in different directions and could easily get mixed up. I really just wanted to say, hey, this student needs this item, this item, this quantity of this item. Very simplistic. I didn't want to be tracing rows, tracing columns. Yes, I could color code these, that would help, but I really just wanted something very simple. So what I found, this is what I ended up at, was I used a label merge. Um, and of course, you don't have to actually print this on label paper or anything, I just printed this on regular paper, um, using what was called a label merge. And this was an add-on from Google. So if you're not familiar with how to add items, just go to get add-ons, and when I did my get add-ons, I searched for label merge. And when you go to label merge, actually I will just start a new document here real quick and show you once you've added the extension, what you're going to do. I'm going to go to add-ons, and I'm going to say label merge start. And so it does give you some directions, very simple to follow. And this is the template for your label. And you can adjust the size of your label, and you can adjust the size of your label as you're adding information into it. So the first thing that you're going to need to do is select your sheet. So if you remember, I had that big spreadsheet that had all that information on. That's actually not the one I'm choosing. I had to break that into various sheets because the free version of Label Maker actually only allows me to do the first 10 rows. So what I did was I broke that big spreadsheet into multiple sheets, um, just a simple copy and paste, it didn't take too long at all. All right, so I've selected that I want to use my Krispy Kreme labels. I want to do sheet one. Of course, the first thing that I want to show up in my template box is the name. So I'm going to add that. And what shows up will only be what was in the actual cell, so it won't actually say name. So when it comes to the fact that I want it to maybe have the number of glazed donuts first, followed by the word glazed, I do need to add the word glazed. And maybe I want the next one to be cream filled, followed by the word cream to better help the students that are actually filling the orders. Now, of course, I would want to do this with all my items, just as you would do this with all of your data, but for demonstration purposes, I'm going to continue moving. But I will show you if you would need to go down, the box would expand. You're then going to choose Merge. I'm going to hit OK for it to embed a file into your Google Drive. And when it's done doing its magic behind the scenes, you're going to click on the document. And this is what it gives me. So, of course, I was only asking for data on glazed and cream and the student's name, but if I wanted the rest of my fields, I could have obviously included that. So this is just a quick example of how label merge works, and I hope you can find this helpful as we continue through the school year. Have a great one.